Hey guys, my name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some first impressions for you guys. Last night I was on the way home from dinner and I was super close to the mall, so I decided to stop by through Sephora and Macy's. I mainly went in because I just needed a new foundation that actually matched my winter skin, but then I walked out with more than just the foundation. Oops. <laughs> Throughout this video, if you hear of any products that you want to check out, look in the description box for direct links to the products. So stay tuned if you guys want to see how to get this look. So today we're actually going to start the video off with a face mask. My dad actually gave me this one for Christmas. I am obsessed with sheet masks and I've honestly never tried like a higher end sheet mask and I'm pretty sure this was like this was $5. I usually buy my sheet mask in bulk on Amazon. I will link the ones that I get in the description box, but I am gonna try this one out today. It's literally like little tomato things. Okay, it says apply each slice onto a cleansed dry face. So I literally have to like apply these. Wait, this is like the weirdest thing ever. I was not expecting this. I thought it was like actually just like a normal sheet mask. All right, it does smell like tomatoes. So if you don't like tomatoes, then don't recommend this, but I do like tomatoes, so we're good on that part. I look like a damn pizza. <laughs> like what? First impression is that I think it's convenient when you don't want a whole sheet mask on your whole face. Like maybe if you want to put it just under your eyes, you can do that and save the others for later. Um, but overall, I don't think I love this just because I have to worry about like all these sliding off my face instead of just like one whole mask that I have to worry about, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's interesting. It's kind of weird. It does feel really refreshing though. And obviously that's what we want. That's like the main reason of this mask is just to make our skin look a little bit better. The smell isn't something I would prefer, but it's not something I hate. I'm gonna let this set on my face for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'll come back and start on my makeup. So time is up, and this is what it looks like. As you can tell, some of them did fall off, and that's what I was thinking would happen, but I'm just gonna take all of them off now. My skin feels so much better. Like, it feels really, really soft. So I like the way it feels, I just wish it was just like a solid sheet mask because this was just a little bit inconvenient. But it was definitely fun to try and I was snapchatting all my friends and they were just like, do you have pepperonis on your face? Like, is that a new trend? <laughs> so I just did my brows to get that out of the way. I used the ABH Brow Wiz and I concealed them with the Tarte Shapes Tape. And now we're gonna move on to foundation. Every time I have to get a new foundation, whether it's because my other one ran out or because I'm very, very pale, um, I like to try out new foundations. So I just got the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I've heard so many good things about this foundation. I was using the Fenty foundation and there's really nothing wrong with this. As you can see, this one is super, super dark compared to this and I'm very pale because it is winter time. So I needed a different color because I just looked a little too orange in this. So my first impression is that I did think that it was gonna have a pump because in the store, obviously, they had a pump. Um, and I'm not sure if like they were selling it at Sephora, like the little pumps, because I totally would have bought it. I would have definitely rather had a pump than this. But oh well. I just wet my beauty blender, so let's see what it looks like. The foundation when it's pouring out is like very liquidy compared to like a lot of other foundations that I have tried out in the past. And honestly, I wonder how long this foundation is gonna last me because it looks very, very small. Like it has it has one fluid ounce in this so I don't know and it was it was not that cheap so hopefully it does last me a while at least till I have to get another foundation for my summer color so when it's applying I feel like I'm just like patting my beauty blender in like I feel like no foundations going on my face so that's definitely great if you don't like the feeling of foundation which I don't love but I do like that full coverage look and I feel like it's giving it to me but I definitely need to look into getting that pump because this is just not gonna be pretty. I'm just gonna blend that down my jawline. 
So I feel like it looks pretty good on camera and it does have that dewy finish, which I really like. I didn't put primer on my face today because the primer I use is like an oil one and I wanted to see what it looked like without like an oil under it. And honestly, without it, it does have like the effect that the oil gives like this dewy finish. But I am noticing that it kind of looks a little bit gray like over here in person at least. Um, I don't know if it's gonna like oxidize and like warm up on my skin. Hopefully it does. So I applied concealer under my eyes. Again, I went in with the Tarte Shape Tape. And now we're gonna go in and bronze up our face. Honestly, I don't really know if this is supposed to be used for like actually contouring, but it's actually like a really nice color. I was swatching out my hand in Sephora and I was thinking I could do like some really dramatic contour with this. It honestly might even be too dark, but you know, we're just gonna try it out because it's a first impressions video and that's what we are doing today. So again, this color is in sunset and I don't really know how to start. I just like kind of put some on my hand and I just like rubbed it off with the beauty blender and I think I'm just gonna apply it like that because I'm scared to just put it straight on my face because these are very, very liquidy. So you have to be really careful with it. I thought it would be really, really dark, but maybe I'm not putting enough. But honestly, it looks really pretty just being super subtle. So let's compare the sides. So this one already has some on. I'm still blending, but this side doesn't. It looks so pretty. It looks so natural and just like very bronzy. I don't know why I have not gotten this sooner. But once again, just be careful about going overboard, especially if you're not my skin color. I'm not sure if they do have like lighter colors for this bronzer one. Like they do have a lot of other colors for the highlighters, but this one could look really, really dark on some people. So just be careful about that. First impression, very, 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 very messy. <laughs> I think this does have like a little bit of shimmer in it though. Like I can't see it on my hand, but now I'm looking at my contour and it does look a little bit shimmery. I think I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit with it. I still can't tell if it's like super shimmery, but I really like it for the nose contour. Like I feel like that was really easy to get a snatched nose, so highly recommend. Oh my god, I literally spilled it all over my floor. This is a disaster! So I just looked at my hand in the light and it is definitely shimmery. So I'm gonna be a shimmer block today and I didn't know that. So if this makeup tutorial is a flop, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. First impression, right? First impression. So the next new product I have to try out are the ABH Single Shadows. This one is in caramel and it's just like a light tan brown. And this one is in hot chocolate and it's just like a darker brown. I wanted to get these to try out the formula and I also thought that these two would just be like a really great pairing for an everyday look. So first I'm gonna go in with caramel, put it all over my lid and buff it out into my crease. Like I said, this is the perfect everyday color if you just wanted to do a one color eye look. You could even stop here, it just gives your eye like a little bit of dimension, it's really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and take this on my lower lash line as well. So for this darker brown, you could put it in the outer corner or you can give yourself a beautiful smoky eye by putting this hot chocolate color all over your lid. By putting it all over your lid like this, it kind of acts like eyeliner, so you don't need to put any of that on. This color is honestly more of a purple than a brown. So I'm just patting the pigment on my eyelids first and then we're gonna blend it out. I think those eyeshadows pair so well together. I think it looks so pretty, like very, very smoked out and very simple. I'm gonna go put on mascara and then we can finish up the face. So I just put on mascara. Now we can move on to the next new product, which is the Studio Fix powder in the color NC43. I really like this color because it has that yellow undertone that I love. And this foundation is like 
a full coverage buildable foundation. So I'm just gonna set under my eyes. I don't want that to crease. And I don't wanna set like everywhere just because I want that dewiness to show. So I don't wanna make everything matte. I'm really excited to use this powder when I don't wanna put on liquid foundation or I'm in a rush and I can just put this on any blemishes. I'm setting under where I contour just to give it a little bit more of a defined line. But also you wanna blend it out just a tiny bit because you don't wanna see like a straight line because that's just not cute. And I'm also gonna do my smile lines because those can crease up bad. So I did get another Custom FX Drops. This one is in the color Candlelight and it's just a really pretty golden color. I'm not 100% sure if I wanna put it on just because I do already have that dewiness. I didn't know like the contour color had the dewiness in it. So this is what it looks like on my hand. It's just a really, really pretty golden color. I feel like might as well, for the sake of a first impressions video, I should put it on. So I'm gonna go get my beauty blender and I'll be right back. So like the other product, I'm taking it on the back of my hand and just gonna dab it onto my face. Hopefully I don't go overboard with this one. All right, I feel pretty successful with this one. Okay guys, so the last step is to set my face and this is actually my first time trying this Prep and Prime Fix Plus from MAC. So let's see what all the rave is about. Oh, okay. Not sure how much you're supposed to spray, but I go pretty heavy on the spritzes. I didn't think it was gonna smell, but it smells pretty good. So for lips, I'm gonna be using Cork by Dose of Colors. This is not a first impression, but I know every time I don't include my lip, everyone asks me. Then on top of that, I'm going to be adding the Fenty Lip Gloss, and I just got this from my sister for Christmas, so I'm so excited about it. It was actually on my Christmas wish list. I'm really into that glossy look. I don't know why, but kind of over matte right now, so. Just gonna be putting that in the middle. So this is the complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in checking out any product I've mentioned in this video, then check the description box for direct links. Also, let me know if you guys have any products that you'd like me to try out on my channel. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>